We've been tracking the Riddler for days. After long nights of no food and water, we discovered this island. I jumped underwater. I slowly began swimming towards the shore. My bubbles floated to the surface, like bubbles floating to the surface. My eyes were blurry from 16 days of no sleep, but I knew this was it. This was the day where the Riddler would finally fall to me. I left my boat on the shore because I wanted to keep it as a distraction, but I quickly remembered I forgot to turn off the power. So I ran over to my boat. I jumped inside of it, and I got confused as I forgot which seat I sat in. I then jumped out of the boat again because I sat in the wrong seat for a second time. Now the boat's turned off, and I can continue stalking the Riddler. I slowly made my way across the beach, thinking of my lovely six wives back at home, thinking of the cologne brand I was going to start and call the Riddler after my arch nemesis. It was cold and I was hungry. The trees scraped my arms. There were caterpillars in the ground. I like caterpillars. I saw two trees that I squeezed through barely. As I made it up the hill, I noticed one of my old tribe mates had built a fob. As I approached the fob, my ears started itching, so I stuck a piece of grass in it, and it made it itch even more. I continued journeying on, ignoring the itch in my ear, where I noticed what appeared to be a rock. A big rock. I remembered the pioneers used to drive them for miles. I continued, lonely, but dedicated. I knew I had one mission, and that mission was to destroy the Riddler, and to find what was at the end of this giant riddle. We're back, boys. SEAL Team 7. This is the Riddler Raid Part 72, and this will probably be... Um, look, I'm a, I'm a humble guy, and this is probably going to be the most incredible raid you'll ever see. What I'm about to show you today is a combination of years of experience, years of training, years of focus. I'm here today to give you guys what you've been waiting, the Riddler finale. I believe. I, I could be wrong. Who knows? This dude's absolutely insane. It's going to be a doozy. Now, as always, please take your phone, uh, just take your tongue and lick it real quick. And let's just jump into this raid because this is going to be phenomenal. So we're looking at we're looking at the base structure here. It's got the mushroom shape on top. It's a classic design by noobs and the real real thick base on the outside, real thick wall. So what we're going to do here is a technique I patented myself, and this is what we do used to do back when I was um on SEAL Team 400. It's a different SEAL Team I was on, and you just kind of walk back and forth. It's actually called the potato maneuver, and it's quite the misnomer. It really has nothing to do with potatoes. But you just kind of do this, and you convince the enemy that there's more than one of you, right? They hear these explosions, they think, there's there's an entire army out there. There's hundreds of explosions. What could this be? They have no idea. And so it really adds to the spook factor, and that's why SEAL Team 89 used this a lot. So we're just going to let that run in, run its course real quick. You just do a little Pop Goes the Weasel right here. Always wink when you do that. It's very important. And, uh, you know, a little Pop Goes the Weasel like that, and that should do it. So you kind of get your warning shots in. And now this is this is just for funsies here. This is just a little something extra, a little bit extra there, and just like that, it's an indestructible wall. Apparently, that was a significant amount of C4. Hold up, why are we bleeding? Something's going on here. Is this gorilla? Oh, 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 oh! We're gonna snipe. We're gonna snipe. Gorilla warfire S curve, guys. Remember the S curve. Okay, our strat didn't work. That's okay. We start off with another bang right here. Okay. See, this is why you do the the other original idea I had earlier. You do that, you come back, you do a little bit of this, and before you... Guys, it's important when you're on Steel Team 400 to just hide in the bushes. And in fact, you become a bush. You are... He's behind, he's everywhere. Emergency healing, emergency healing. Losing health quick, we are incredibly low. He's pulling out, he's pulling out mad guerrilla warfare, boys. Mad guerrilla warfare. We need to clutch heal, we need to clutch heal. Now the important thing to remember is, as long as you don't know what you're doing, neither can they. I learned this back when I was, uh, back when I was in Costa Rica, back in 94. Once the target's located. We've given away position, boys. We have given away position. You know what that means? That's, that means you move on to the next door. You move on to the next wall. And slowly but surely, you pick away at this like you would pick away at a piece of... Like you would pick away at a piece of chicken in your mouth. And before you know it, you'll be right inside of that. We're in, boys. We are in. This is... This is huge. This is... This is a... This is a win for Costa Rica. I need to build. Where's my Fortnite items? Guys, remember, outsmart the opponent. If you know you can't beat it on hand-to-hand -hand combat, this guy's a master of guerrilla warfare. All right, next stop, next stop, next stop, next stop. 
This could be a really bad move, but I think it's I think I think in long term it's gonna work out for us. Focus, boys, focus, boys. Riddler has been located. Eyes on the target, guys. Eyes on the target. Don't forget. That just nar narrowly missed us right there. Don't worry though. The Riddler thinks he's won. The Riddler thinks that he's beaten us through this long, treacherous three-day journey. The truth is. What if I've been the Riddler the whole time? Like, what, wouldn't that be crazy? Like, I somehow am playing on two accounts. Guys, this is where the plays start, all right? We've been breaking in. We've been playing Spooky Boy tactics. Oh! Riddler, home dog. What's going on right now? All right, I don't want anyone talking in the comments. I don't want anyone clicking like right now. I need full focus from everyone involved. I don't want to hear a sound from any of you. Oh, snap. We're going to do the unthinkable. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We did it. We... Oh, okay. There it goes. There it goes. I saw it at three health and I thought to myself, this is not ideal. <laughs> Early shots from the Riddler. He's just camping our base now, guys. This is going to be tough. This, this legitimately is the most difficult raid we've had so far. And I've got a couple strategies inside my mind because, like I said, I'm an elite Rust Warrior. And when I say that, I mean that with the utmost seriousness. You saw me last time. Another clean hit, boys. Guerrilla Warfare has started. It's time to go finish what we started. It's time. One more clean shot on this. I cannot believe he ran out right when I was trying to kill him. He can't get his boat set. Oh, we got him, guys. We got him. Last moment. All right, guys, this is our chance. Let's go. This is our chance to get inside of that base once and for all. Riddler, I don't know where he's going with that boat. That was utterly horrifying. And I don't know how it took me so long to kill him. I want to tell you guys right now, the basement looks absolutely terrifying. There's something upstairs in this base. There's a lot of opportunity for us to die. But I think if we just believe, I think it's going to work out. First things first, take a couple warning shots. Always want to do that. You never want to forget the warning shot. We are, I think, one of, yep, that one's really low. The more shots we have at this, the more opportunities we have to break in. Okay, really got to watch out for that. That is absolutely impossible. Also, I did never say this, but I hope you guys are enjoying our series and having an awesome day. I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. And if you are enjoying this series, I don't think that's going to really do what we want there for us. Um, yeah, okay, there's some challenges here, certainly. If I can get a clean strafe like that, I can do some damage. And the more of these I take out, the more we'll get in. I'm also worried the Riddler's going to attack our base, so we're trying to move kind of quick here. I mean, just like two shots, and it does so much damage to you. It's crazy. I was lonely, but I was hungry. Hungry for the flesh of the Riddler. I was going to chop his body up and eat... Wait, no, that's weird. I was just going to kill him. Kill him a lot. As I stabbed myself with this magical medical syringe, I realized I was not looking good. I realized... Riddler was breaking into my own base. I thought about my wives, Gina, Selena, Lauren, Lauren 2, and Lauren 3, and also Lauren 4. I date a lot of Laurens, and I brought up the courage deep within my stomach, and I did it for the Laurens. I charged headfirst into the base without a concern or a thought for my 17 dogs, and I found him in the jungle. What you're about to see is this sheer, pure, Military excellence. This is absolutely incredible and unprecedented footage, and I hope you enjoy. It is going to blow your mind. The skill of this soldier, which is me. I'm that soldier, and it's very skillful, because I'm good at this game. Location, target sided, boys. Target sided. This is it. He just vanishes, guys. I have no idea where he goes. How, how did he even get back up there? How's that even possible? This is a man of many skills. It's quiet, boys. It's too quiet. All right, guys. Damage taken. Bleeding damage inbound. Riddler is... I, I don't understand. He's everywhere. He's always everywhere. This is going to be tough because we've, we've blown up a bunch of holes. That's where turrets can see us. They can shoot us. All right. C4 going on the base. I just heard a lot of them explode. This is not looking good. I see him scaling the wall of our base. He's making it to the top. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's not looking good for us. He's already he's already done some damage. He's taking down his own ladders. Oh, he's in. He's in. He's in. He's in the base. He's in the base. He's in the base. 
Oh my gosh, and I'm gonna die from bleeding. Come on, come on, come on, come on, yes! No, 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 no. Alright, guys, this is not looking good for us right now. Found him. Riddler's been located. Again? Oh, we got him, we got him, we got him. He's finally gone. Riddler's finally gone, guys. We gotta reload, we gotta get back to that base. I thought he was gonna take his entire base down that time. Uh, what a clean shot. Alright. I don't know if the other... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. I can't... Can I not get through this? I, I, is the gap to the limit there? And... Wow, this stuff's really strong. I think... I'm pretty sure that's enough to get through. I think. Those are powerful, and it's still somehow standing. 213 health. How much does this do? I don't see any turrets on this side. The screen got really dark right now, so this must be the main hub of the base right here. I'm gonna take these bullets. 210 in that one. 5.56 in that one. And... I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll just place down as many as we can right here and see if the Riddler is leaving us. I don't see where he is yet, so we'll keep blowing into it. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Boom. I did. Wow. That did some damage. I heard that click. You know, you know he didn't want to hear that. I kind of regret uh, opening up so many holes on the outside, I will admit. Wow, these have a lot of health. Gonna get a couple more down. Look for the Riddler. Look for the Riddler. Look for the Riddler. No Riddler has been sighted. I still haven't broken through a single layer of this thing yet. Oh my gosh. I think one more C4 will get us in. At least to whatever is inside of that one. Well played, boys. It's well played. It all comes down to the art of war. The art of thinking. Bold. Oh my gosh, I shot him a foot away and he gets me again. You would have thunk. So, we made it into this first little section here. Riddler obviously just destroyed us there. And I got this cool little skill I've learned here. I wouldn't say I've learned it, but there is a ability where you can crouch jump, but I guess it don't matter, because if we can stand back here and long range throw these bad boys in, it really doesn't make a difference, does it? Okay, so we're just going to keep them going. That was a lot. That might have hurt me a little bit. And you know what? I realized I didn't bring any healing this time, so long range throws. I love how far C4 throws in this game. No, I didn't mean to throw that one there. Okay, that's probably enough for that wall. Let's play it safe. Nope, 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 nope. And there it goes again. Nope. All right, guys, now that we made it into the first round, we've got to start tunneling up here. So I'm going to see if we can break it through this. We're going to see how far we can go. This might, I'm not sure this will break quickly, so I'm going to just place a couple of those down and see what happens. All right, still got a lot of health. All right, guys, I'm going to go try to keep... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something here, guys. I'm going to do a little bit of a crazy move. Seems as though our base has been compromised. Seems as though there's construction going on inside of our base. It seems as though I want to build something in here. All right, guys, it's not looking good. Our base has been compromised. You never want to... It's never a good day when you have to blow into your own base, boys. But it's a necessary day. And there goes the ladder. Well, that was an unint uh, unintelligent play there. So at this point, I think you just kind of wrap it up and say, well, there goes my base. That's a mistake. Um, and you just commit to it and you attempt to steal his base. Now, this is going to be challenging. Um, you know, I don't have any equipment. I don't have any ladders. It's not looking good for us. We're being sniped. All right. We can get a couple of these up here. The ceilings are substantially difficult to get through. It's not looking good for us overall. Okay, I killed myself, guys. This is not looking good at all. I've died so many times. Alright guys, Riddler's back. We're just trying to break through this one area. I don't know where he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. He believes that he can... No. 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 Wow. That was some ugly PvP right there. I'm gonna be real honest with you. We're burnt. Did do a little bit of damage. See, it's so hard to move when you're crouched, and that's why part of the problem is you can't get out quick enough. Got him again, boys. Got him again. That's what it, that's what it comes down to. You just camp the body. You keep him in his place. How is the ceiling not broken yet? My goodness. It's quite literally invincible. Back to position. Camp the body. Blow the ceiling. Camp the body. Blow the... You get into the rhythm. You don't even think about it. It becomes easy. Should be able to... How do I get up this? Do I need a ladder to get up this? Let's try it. Pull up a ladder down here. Get rid of our stupid torch. It doesn't even matter. We can blow it up from down here and we'll figure out how to get up there at a later time. Okay? That's how we do it around here. Crouch the body, camp the body, let the ceiling explode. Guys, we're making progress. We're doing good. Riddler's going down. Stay all day once you get a kill and you go back. Pretend like it's easy. All day. All right? All day. That's what you say every time. Remember, I learned that in SEAL 672 when I was on the squadron there. Just put a couple more of these there. Should suffice us. Pile of dead bodies is growing rapidly. Okay, how we We still have not breached the second ceiling. A couple more of these ought to do the trick. Always expect the unexpected, boys. Always... Expect the unexpected. We've now gotten two levels completely cleared. I still don't know how to get up there, but we've got it cleared. Let's try a ladder right here. I need a nice clean ladder. Exit. Okay, still not letting me up there. Well, that's okay. We don't need up there yet. I think we can we can still Oh you saw the naked boy. Okay. I'm really not good at crouch jumping, am I? This is really challenging. This crouch jump is this is this is no joke. So we're going up tier three. 
This took, I feel like this took what? Like 16 billion of these to get through a layer, so maybe 16 billion more and we'll get right through. I wonder if I'm in the splash zone. I don't really want to find out. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. Exotic. Keeps blowing up. All right, guys, it has been almost an hour of just blowing straight up in this thing. Well, not really an hour. It's been like 15 minutes, but we finally made it to where I think it sounds like there's going to be something up there. I can kind of hear a turret and something else up there. So we're going to try to blow up one more tier. I think he's, I think you can see us through the ground, guys. That's okay. So we're going to go ahead and just take a bold guess here and blow up right on this side. Seems like a good move for us. Play it safe. Whoa. Why am I taking damage? Oh, there's fire. Why is there fire on the ground? All right. This should take us through right here. Something's definitely up here, guys. This might be what we've been looking for the whole time. I'm exhausted. This has been a, this has been the hardest raid we've had so far. Every time it shakes, I can see him. A chest. Oh, snap. Look at all this stuff. 53,000 metal. I think that's a lot. I don't play a lot of rust. That seems like a lot of... Guys, don't mind these dead bodies here of my previous uh, failed attempts to get into this, this room here. It seems like on our last one, we blew up the turret. That's so creepy. Look at that. So this is... This must be his main base room right here. So we can check this out. Let's see what we have in here. Oh my gosh. I don't... 107,000 wood. A lot of sulfur. Gotta assume that's some good, exciting stuff right there. I don't know. Okay, we gotta blow this thing up. Gonna have to blow that one up. Empty furnace. So all these chests seem to be locked, which is, I guess, you know, probably smart. I usually don't lock mine. What do we have here? Okay, so it looks like literally everything in this room is locked. So let's pull out our C4. The most ideal way to break into something, but it at least gets the job done. Lots of berries. Maybe we can actually find C4 in here. Some guns, a bunch of ladders. Don't need any of that crap. And that's a lot of metal. We'll take that. Okay, that's actually an insane amount of metal. It's more than I think I could ever need in my life. What do we have in this one? See, as a rust noob, I don't know what stuff's good here. I feel like security cameras are good. Maybe those pistols are good. I'm just really taking random stuff at this point. I'll take a, I'll take 100 signs. Why not? 100 signs is exciting. It would be nice if we could get some ammo or something out of these. It literally says ammo on the case. So maybe we can get some ammo. I don't know. And, okay, that one just has ammo that's boring. This one has pretty much infinite material. You could pretty much... Okay, just ammo in that one. Okay, here we go. We got the explosives. A protective face mask with a little... Some kind of weird... Taking down the next furnace. We're not leaving anything inside of this base after all the pain he's put us through. Two more furnaces down. The only thing left is this little... That has another insane amount. Just, just the amount of stuff in here is crazy. Wait, I can just get into it. Scrap to use. Okay, so there's nothing inside of this thing. 65,000 more pieces of metal, gentlemen. That's a good, good, exciting find right there. Yep, this thing's locked. Now, I'm not sure if this does much damage. It really doesn't do a lot. We can break it. Still got more health. There's like multiple layers to this. Now, that's fascinating. We found it. The note on the ground. I knew, I knew it. I knew it. Well, you win. I have nothing left. Hope you had fun playing. Something about these emojis, though, is kind of creepy to me. Something about that feels really off. Did I just see a Riddler somewhere? 